Hey second graders, it's Mrs. Compton and today I have brought back a very special guest that you haven't seen yet this year. It's Chip. Do you guys remember Chip from last year? He is here. He was out sunbathing and I stole him away and I brought him in here. So if you remember, Chip sometimes likes to fall asleep and sometimes he likes to yawn and he doesn't do very well with his math lessons. So we'll see what he does today. What do you think, Chip? You gonna do okay today? You gonna pay attention? Probably not. He's thinking about probably going out there and basking in that sun again. What do you think? Should you go back? Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, so today we are going to do some more time. So let me grab my clock here. And I want you to look at my clock and tell me what time it is. All right, so we're gonna start right here. What time is it? All right, it is, on the count of three, tell me, one, two, three, tell me. It is, some of you probably said 12 o'clock. Some of you probably said four o'clock. Some of you probably said 12.20. Which one is it? Let's remember, this one is the hour hand, so it's pointing to the hour four, and this is right when it turns four o'clock, when it goes straight up to the 12. So it is 12, or ex excuse me, it's four o'clock right now. Okay, let's see, what if I did this? And I moved the minute hand, and just ever so slightly that hour hand. What time is it now? What do you think? I'm gonna hold it a little closer. A little closer, can you see it? All right, on the count of three, tell me. One, two, three, tell me. Mm-hmm. All right, it's not, the hour hand is not pointing yet at the five, right? It's getting closer to the five, but it's not there yet. So it's still in the four o'clock hour. And we jumped five, 10, 15 minutes. So we are looking at 4, 15. Can you see that 15 there? I'm trying to, there we go, there it is, 4, 15. All right, I'm gonna show you another one. Are you ready? If you have your clocks like this, you can do this with me on your clock. Okay, here we go. All right, whoop. I forgot to move my hour hand. Okay, there we go. What time is it? All right, on the count of three. One, two, three, tell me. It's 4.30. 4.30? Yes, you're probably at your sports practice right now at 4.30, right? If it's 4.30 p.m. If it's 4.30 a.m., you better be asleep in your own bed, right? Right, okay. So the hour hand was pointing exactly between the four and the five. And the minute hand was pointing right down at the bottom at the, the six, right? We can't even see the six. And if it's pointing right at the six, it means it's at the 30 minute mark. Do you see how this hand is blue and the minutes around the clock are written in blue? Do you see that? And the red hand is the hour hand and the, um, the numbers on the clock that represent the hours are in red. So it's color coded. Okay, let's say I start at 4.30. Now I'm gonna ask you, how many minutes have passed? Okay, I'm starting at 4.30. How many minutes have passed? So I'm gonna show you another clock. Let's see, gotta be crafty here. How many minutes have passed? All right, you ready? It was this, and now it's this. How many minutes have passed? Let's see, my hour hand is still not yet at the five. It's sneaking closer but it's not there yet. So it's still the hour four, and we were at 4.30, but now we're at 
435, 440. So we are at 440. Did you guys get that one? All right, let's do a new set. I'm going to change the hour from 4 o'clock. Let's do this one. Okay, what time is it now? Tell me, tell me. I'm going to show you closer. Wait. I want it to be right there. Okay, what time is it? On the count of three. One, two, three. Tell me. It is 7.05. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so hard to hold this thing straight. 7.05. Some of you may have said 7.04 because it looks like it was pointing at the floor. I would take that answer too. Now. We're going to start at 7.05. Actually, I guess I could write that down, right? So start at 7.05. And then end at, all right, I'm going to show you. We're going to end at this. What time is that first? How many minutes have passed? Let's see. This is 7.30, right? So our hour hand is pointing halfway between the seven and the eight, and the minute hand is pointing right at the 30 minutes. Remember, blue, blue. So it's 7.30. If we're going with 7.30 a.m., I'm betting you are brushing your teeth or eating your breakfast or on your way to your Zoom room. I don't know. So 7.30, like this. Now, how much time passed between 7.05 and 7.30? So let's think. We started with this, and we ended with this. How? much time passed. All right, we're going to make this clock match 730 and we're going to count. So we're going to find out how much time passed. Actually, this clock, that's the one I want to use. So 705, right? Okay, I like to count in fives. Um, so if we were to count in fives all the way till we got here, we'd go like this. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, so 25 minutes has passed. So we call that elapsed time, elapsed time. So this is what that word looks like, elapsed time. And we know 25 minutes have passed. Okay. Let's try another one. Let's do one that's not right on the five. So let's say, let's do 10, 12. Okay, so if you have your clock, do this with me. My hour hand is pointing at the 10. My minute hand is pointing at not the 10, not the 11, but 12. That's 12 minutes right there. See that? All right, so 10, 12. Okay, now let's go. Gotta get my new one. Please hold. Please hold. Oh my gosh, I don't wanna make that thing fall. Okay, we're gonna go all the way to. This. First, you have to figure out what time it is. What time is it? Okay, tell me on the count of three, what time is it? One, two, three, tell me. Mm -hmm. It is not 11 o'clock yet. It is still between 10 and 11. So that means the hour is still 10 and it's pointing right at the 45. So it is 10.45. So how would you figure out how many minutes elapsed for this one? So let's start back with this clock again. So it's 10, 12. So there's different strategies you might use. I'm going to guess some strategies that some of you might use. Okay, so this is our starting mark. I'm going to write a little blue line there. See that? It just kind of helps us as we get started. I think I'm going to jump to the 15 by adding three minutes. 
one, two, three minutes. Then I'm going to jump by fives, I think. All right, so I go like this. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. But then I have to add on my 31, 32, 33. Okay, so 33 minutes have elapsed. All right, so 33 minutes have gone by. Now, I hope you have one of these clocks, but if you don't, I bet if you're going back to in-person school this week, you might see one of those clocks and maybe you'll get to have one. Okay. Here's the story. I know I've been going on all this time about clocks and I also had to introduce Chip to you because I could not wait a second longer. So here we go. We gotta see the story. This story is about Irish dancing. Now, at some point this school year, we might have an Irish dance performance. We don't know. So here we go. The school's Irish dance performance begins at p.m. and ends at p.m. How many minutes long is the performance? Okay, so it's just like what we were practicing on those clocks. You can choose 12.17 and 12.45, 12.35 and 1.50, 10.35 and 12.52. I want to remind you something though. If your answer is more than an hour, you have to make sure you tell how many minutes long the performance is. So make sure you do that. All right, kids, grab your paper, grab your dog, grab your stuff. Let's go. See you later. Bye.